I'm super excited to bring you this video on SQL Server interview questions. Now, the series of videos that I'm going to record will be focusing on different topics and different level. For example, this video is going to focus on SQL Server questions related to indexes and the level is basic, which means this is part one and then I'm going to do part two with some intermediate level questions and then maybe part three with advanced to expert level questions and again spread across different topics. Now what can you do with these questions? Well, you can ask these questions to yourself, which is the self-assessment, or you can pass this on to your colleagues, they can assess themselves, or if you're hiring new talent into your team, you can ask these questions to the interview candidates. So remember, this is SQL Server indexing questions, basic level part one. Let's get started. Okay, the first question is, when you create a table, and you want to have a primary key, let's say the primary key is on transaction ID, by default, the primary key behind the scenes will create a clustered index. Now this is something I assume you know that when you create a primary key on a column in a table, by default, it creates a clustered index. So the question here is, can you tell SQL Server to create a non-clustered index instead of a clustered index? That's the question. And two aspects to that question. One, if you cannot do that, and if the answer is no, fair enough. But if the answer is yes, how? And what benefit will you get by creating your primary key on a non-clustered index? Well, that's the kind of an extension to the question. So that's question one. Let's move on to the next question, question number two. In question number two, you will see that I'm creating an index um, in the first example here on this table person.address, the index is a multi-column index, postal code, comma, city. I could create index in this way. Well, there is another way to create the index. I am creating an index on postal code, which is the indexing column. But this time, instead of putting city as the second column, we put city in the include keyword, which means we are including city also as part of the index. Now, technically speaking, in the first example also, city is part of the index, but structurally, there is a difference. So the question here is, what is the difference between this option versus this option? Another way of asking this question is, what benefit will you get here? Or what benefit will you get here? or the advantages and disadvantages of this, or advantages and disadvantages of this one. Or more technically, in which scenarios would you go and create index in this fashion, multi-column, which means your indexing column has two parts to it, column one and column two. And in which scenarios will you go ahead and create index in this fashion? You know, this is uh, like explaining, so you could kind of explain yourself as to why would you choose option one over option two and vice versa. So this and structurally, what's the difference between these two? And both of them are, of course, possible. And the answer here is that the interview candidate or you yourself or your colleagues are explaining what's the difference between option one and option two. That's question number two. Let's jump over to question number three. Wow, in question number three, uh, let me execute this. So in AdventureWorks 2016, we have this uh, table called person.address and I'm going to select postal code from this table and I'm going to order by postal code. Let's go and execute this first and jump over to the execution plan. You will observe that there is a sort operator here, right? You can see this right here. Okay, now what's the question? The question is, if I create an index on postal code, so this is an index called IX address postal code. If I create this index on postal code and then I run this query again after creating the index, will I get rid of the sort operator? That's the question. I repeat, by default, you can see that SQL Server execution plan is deploying a sort operator to sort the data by postal code. Now, if I create this index, will I get rid of the sort operator? If the answer is no, fair enough. If the answer is yes, the extension to the question is how? How does that happen and why does that happen? That's the question. All right, friends, so we have three questions. Question one, question two, question 
three. Test yourself, test your colleagues, test the interview, uh, interview candidates, and let's see what answers all of you come up with. Most likely you're watching this video on YouTube. So if you have answers to these questions and you want to put your thought process and explain certain scenarios as I talked about in the video, put it down in the comment section. I would love to hear what you think. What's the answer? Yes, no. And if it is yes, what's the further explanation? When you put down your answers, don't look at other comments. First, put down your answer and then look at other comments. Now your next question, your question to me is when am, uh, when am I going to come up with the answers and maybe further explanations? So I will do that exactly a week from today's date. So if I am not wrong, this is going to be published on 11th May 2023. So uh, we will come up with the answers on 18th May, which is seven days from now so you have like a whole week to kind of decide and answer and i will come up with the answers to this uh, set of three questions and of course i will come up with more videos uh, asking questions at intermediate and advanced levels on variety of topic so trying to do sql server interview questions and answers in a different way hope you are enjoying this happy sql if you like the content give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there, video courses, master classes, lab kits, eBooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter at the rate SQL Maestros and myself A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.